Jackson. Yes, sir. You may embrace your bride. vlog. We currently drove an hour last night after I got off work to stay at a hotel because it is 4.50 in the morning and we are flying out to Puerto Rico today. Super excited but we are gonna go check out and then there's a shuttle coming and taking us to the airport. So here's what this room looked like. It was actually a very nice room called Delta Hotels in Indianapolis. Let's go. We're on the plane heading to New York. Hey guys, so it's been a rough day. Very rough. So basically we ended up leaving this morning at, we got up at 4.30. We left for the airport at 5.00 got to the airport, got checked in, all that stuff. That was fine, great, whatever. And then we went on our flight, so we went from Indianapolis to New York. So we're in New York, and then we landed about like nine-ish, and then we ended up, uh, our next flight to San Juan wasn't until like 1.05. So we get lunch, because we're super, super hungry. It's like 10 o'clock at this time. And then, we are eating and then we're done eating and it's like 10 45 11 by the time we're done eating and there's like a uh, what's it called a monitor right above where we where we were eating and jack saw that there was a flight out of san juan that was canceled but it wasn't delta it was something else but i was like oh it's a different airline whatever well then we looked at the app and the app says it's canceled. Just canceled. That's it. Just canceled. Nothing we can do. The next flight wasn't until Sunday. And it is Friday. And tomorrow is our one year anniversary. So I was panicking a little bit. Every time we go on a trip. Every time we go somewhere. Something happens. Every time. I'm like about to cry. Literally I had tears in my eyes. I didn't know what to do. We ended up going to someone. Asking them what we should do. So we went to a help desk. They weren't very helpful. They basically said, like, you have to go to baggage claim to get your... Because we were like, well, we need to get our bags. So we went to baggage claim to get our bags. Then we talked to someone. She told us to go to another airline to see if we can get on a different flight, on a different airline. So we ended up going to JetBlue. And they were flying out at 8.30 tonight. So... We were like, didn't even get a refund for Delta yet, but the longer we waited, the longer it would be, um, or the more expensive it would be. So we just had to make a decision quick, and we ended up buying tickets for that flight to San Juan tonight at 8.30. We were supposed to leave at 1.05. Now we're leaving at 8.30. Went back to get our bags. Went back to go to Delta to see if we could get our money back. They basically, we sat in line for like 45 minutes for them to tell us we had to call someone. So then we came back to JetBlue, had to go through security again for the second time. Oh, and our bag is overweight. So our bag, we had to pay double what you usually pay, twice. So we spent like $300 on a checked bag, one checked bag, because we thought it would be like more convenient to have one bag. No. I would have I'd rather had two bags, but whatever. Now we're waiting. It's only 2.22, so we have a while. But that is what has been happening. It's not been a great start. Uh. Okay, update. It is 7 o'clock now. We're still here. I took a nap on this chair. We're tired. I look bad, but... I called Delta and we got a full refund, so that's good. So the only thing that we really lost money in was my freaking checked bag. If that's the worst, 
that it could be, then whatever, I guess. But it is thunderstorming here in New York, so hopefully that doesn't delay anything. But I've seen planes go out even while the thunderstorming, so it still says we're on time. I keep checking it every five minutes because I'm like paranoid now. But we should be getting on the plane soon. Two hours later. Three twenty-eight a.m. Tu mano fue más que suficiente. Ven, vámonos. Desvanecer nuestras ganas de volver. So I, you saw our breakfast. We had a really nice breakfast. Um, it is, brunch. oh, there's Taco Bell. <laughs> but we, oh yeah, brunch. We literally didn't wake up until like 12 because we didn't go to bed until three. But yeah, we were supposed to get in by 5 p.m. but we didn't get in until 3 a.m. Actually, we were supposed to get in at like four. Oh yeah, like four, but like get to the place at like five. But it's predicted to rain. Literally five days we're here. Five days we're here. And today's Saturday. Sunday, tomorrow's gonna be nice. But then like Monday through Friday is literally supposed to rain. But I'm hoping that it's not like all day. Like in Florida it rains like part of the day and then it's like sunny. So I'm hoping that that's kind of like what, what it is here. We're going to a Walmart right now. We're going to order groceries later today. But I really want to see if I can find like a waterproof case for my Ooh, phone. Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to see if I can find a waterproof phone case and then some board games or like some games, like card games that we can play. Because if it is supposed to rain a lot, which I'm really not mad about. I mean, you've seen our, the view in our place. It's like amazing. And we have no plans. So tomorrow's going to be kind of like our, our outdoor day. And then if, you know, on the days that it's supposed to rain, it's not raining or whatever and we want to go to the beach we can because it's literally like a five second walk to the beach so it's no big deal but yeah so let's see if we can find some like games to play it's really fun here it's kind of like new york no it's not like new york it's like we're in like a city but um I got a waterproof phone case and then I got got a couple games that I'll show you um, and then after that we came back here and I had to put in our grocery order which I will show you all that I got um, they have like an online grocery delivery place around here I uh, put in an order um, so we're pretty much eating in like probably the rest of the time except for like another night maybe like the night that we like the night before we leave or something like that. Um, but I spent $300, but that is pretty good considering like around here, touristy places is super expensive. For brunch, it was literally like $60 for one meal. So, and we'll probably have a bunch of leftovers and stuff like that. So, so I ordered that, it took me a while to put in the whole order. Um, but then we went and walked around. So you saw us by like the water and stuff like that. So we walked around the beach and then we just got ready for dinner so since it's our one year anniversary today we're gonna go out to dinner the restaurant is like two minutes away but it is a sushi and like thai place i'm so excited it's my favorite food so i'm gonna get some sushi i'm gonna get some noodles probably so we just took a shower my hair is like super greasy 
because I didn't want to wash it because I didn't go in the water yet and I know like when I go in the water I'll have to wash it like every day so but yeah I got my hair done on Monday I don't know if you can really tell but it looks a little bit lighter I really like it and then I'm wearing the same outfit I wore on our honeymoon um, this was the last outfit I wore but yeah it's really cute it's like a two-piece set so yeah so we're gonna go eat. <laughs> Hello. Okay, we just got our grocery order. I'm gonna do a quick haul. Literally, I'm just gonna go through, say what it is, and then yeah. But I got a lot. Like, let me just show you. This is everything. Yeah. But we're gonna be here for six days. Let's do this really quick. Vita Coco waters, ketchup, mustard, dish soap, lime juice, Olive Garden Italian seasoning, mango juice, pineapple juice, cement toast crunch, Welch's fruit snacks, gluten free thin spaghetti, gluten free elbow pasta. Holy cow, this is a big thing of cornstarch. It's a tiny thing of olive oil, crushed red pepper, thyme, Got some Pringles for the beach, and extra toilet paper because I thought. There wasn't extras, but she does have extras. This was like a dollar. A variety of cereals for the morning. Gluten-free chocolate chip waffles. Rice Krispies. Cherry tomatoes. This is mangoes. These ones are definitely not right. Bacon. 18 eggs. I didn't realize how little these were, but I bought four of these corns. Cut green beans, beef broth, cream of coconut. Ooh. Frozen chicken. Pre-cooked bread. Ezekiel bread is the only bread that I can like have. Two packs of shrimp. Oh, hash brown patties. Oh my gosh, these steaks are huge. They were only like five dollars on the website. Oh my gosh, I got five California steaks. Chicken breast. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of chicken. Like it was super cheap online. Lettuce, mushrooms, a little bag of onions. Who this is parsley. Cucumbers look. Not even English. Red onion, strawberries. I guess I did get a shallot. I wasn't supposed to get a shallot, but I guess I did. Popcorn. Didn't realize I got four kinds. So that's interesting. Pam, dried cilantro, ground coffee, coffee filters, jasmine rice, Italian dressing, soy sauce. This is a pack of ham and turkey deli meat vegan butter. These potatoes, this is a, like three pounds of potatoes for, I don't even know how much. Two dollars. Lemon juice. Lime juice. Oh, I got two lime juices. Whoopsies. Basil. My coffee creamer. Creamer. Jack's coffee creamer. Chicken broth. Oat milk. Orange juice. I got another mango juice. Oh, why did I do that? I bought too much. <laughs> that is it. I now have to put all this stuff away. I forgot one more bag. Well, two more bags. I got a watermelon. It's over there. It's really big. Olives. Garlic. Minced garlic. Pickles. There's a big thing of salt. That's it.
Okay, hello. We just got back from Old San Juan. Oh, I just. Well, we got back like an Whoa. hour ago maybe. We walked around for like three hours. It was really, really, really cool. Like the old historic building we went into. It was like $20 for both of us to go into it. So it was pretty cheap and it was really fun. But I got super hungry. We both got super hungry while we were there. So we came back around like three and we just had lunch. Um, so we had like a sandwich and leftovers from last night and watermelon. And then we're about to go to Walgreens or, or CVS. It's just like right across the street. I thought I got cooking wine for dinner tonight, but I guess I took it out of the cart or forgot to put it in the cart or something. I don't really know. So we're gonna go get that. And then I, we were gonna go to the beach, but we're super tired. We were out in the sun all day today. So we still have five more days left. So I think we're gonna go to the beach tomorrow morning. We're just gonna stay in tonight, make dinner later. It's like, what, what time is it, like five now? Yeah. We'll probably eat dinner on like seven or eight. Yeah, but I think we're gonna go to a CBS and then play like a card game and then make dinner later. But I uh, forgot to show you yesterday the card game that we bought. So we just bought regular cards and then we bought five crowns, phase 10 and uno oh uno flip that's right <laughs> and then i got this phone case that walmart's um waterproof phone cases are only like 20 to 20 dollars so we're gonna go to cbs now look at that view so can't beat it a cool view <laughs> All I wanted was a bit of honesty But you were fronted, you never really wanted me When I asked you if you wanted to be more than friends You went ahead and lied Now I'm crashing, trying to get back on my feet But it won't happen as long as you're still haunting supposed to like thunderstorm but it never did so we waited a while to go to the beach and then we went to the beach for like two hours like an hour and a half i don't know i've just been like really tired today so we ended up um just coming back showering and then watching tv pretty boring day i washed my hair so my hair is all like messy but i'm making dinner now it's about like 6 50 so yeah i'm, make I'm making shrimp scampi and bacon green beans so that's kind of what we're doing right now maybe play a game while we're eating dinner or something like that but just really slow day i think yesterday wore us out wore me out at least that's the update maybe an hour hour and a half now we are back here it's like four and I'm going to make some like lunch type food and we're going to just do leftovers tonight for dinner but I booked an excursion because I want to at least explore there's two places that we wanted to go or I wanted to go I wanted to go to Old San Juan which we did on Sunday and then I want to go to the like rainforest it's like super cool it's called El Unique Rainforest so I booked an excursion tour because you have to like drive a little bit 
to get there. So um, the excursion tour actually isn't super expensive and it's a six to eight hour tour. So they're gonna pick us up at the like hotel kind of right across the street from us. And then from there, we go to like the rainforest. There's like a natural water slide. There's um, like a, we're gonna hike to like a waterfall and we can like swim in the waterfall. We're gonna have lunch. And then I'm really excited about going to like a little town and then eating like some Puerto Rican food and drinks and stuff like that. So we're doing that on Thursday. So today's Tuesday. Um, and then tomorrow, we're just gonna kinda have another chill day. This has been, the most vacation vacation ever and Lily is confused I always am a go 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 person I need something to do all the time I have ADHD so having this like vacation where we don't really have many plans and we're just kind of like waking up whenever eating chilling like staying in this condo looking at the water like it's kind of weird see you later all right, I know this looks like a lot for a snack, but I just had to make it so that I made sure I used everything. But it's pasta salad with gluten-free pasta. This corn salad, which is really good. They both used Italian dressing, so that was pretty nice, two in one. And then I made some chicken and watermelon. That's our snack. Big snack at like five o'clock. But we're doing leftovers today, so I'm not gonna be cooking tonight, which is nice. Ah! 
right, we're back from the beach and here is our lunch. Just trying to get rid of as much as possible. So, <laughs> got pasta salad, chicken again, um, sandwich, uh. mango, watermelon, and then some little snacks. So, this is what we're having. And then tonight I'm making steak. And then tomorrow we'll eat hopefully all the leftovers. We gotta stuff ourselves tomorrow. Uh. It's gonna be loud. It's everywhere. All right, last meal that I'm cooking. Huge steaks. Look how big these things are. When I bought them, they were only five dollars. So I was like, they're not gonna be that big, but they're huge. Um, potato wedges and corn salad. Here. This is the work of our vacations. Leaving. 